Hello all, welcome back to my channel. So one of the feature which really fascinated me in civil procedure courts is caveats. So what is a caveat? Caveat is uh, ensuring your interest is protected even before there is an infringement. So it is like saying, hey, beware, I have my rights on this. So it's like um, taking a step ahead before even if there is any uh, person like puts a legal notice on you on things, you are taking a step ahead and you are protecting your legal rights. So that is caveat. I'll explain further what that means in uh, the later part of the video. But uh, let me tell you why I got this uh, concept in my head um, to make the video today. So I was reading the newspaper and where I get all my ideas for the videos from. So I heard, uh, I mean I read the article where the government has applied for this uh, caveats against these Raj Kalwe or um, storm water drains uh, which has been encroached uh, by the private people, private parties and there are many illegal encroachments which has happened uh, in that uh, Raj Kalwe. So because of which there are like a lot of we had recently we had a lot of issues where the storm waters are not draining out and we are having flooding and because of this illegal encroachments we are having uh, we had a loss of uh, 300 or 350 crores rupees of uh, property loss which is a huge so huge and not just that also risking lives of people and uh, uh, so, because these water clogged areas are not getting any easement. So, naturally, if you see uh, Bangalore terrain, it is very hilly. I have been a Bangalorean from uh, my childhood. So, I know how the terrain is and it is quite hilly. Before, in fact, when I was in school uh, time, it was like uh, Bangalore was very chilly actually, very cold. It was a, it's a naturally hilly area. And we had, because of that only that Raj Kalwe concept had came, because we Bangalore was filled with lakes. We had many lakes, hundreds of lakes. And um, I have seen actually many places where the lakes were there before and then eventually it got dried up and then they converted that as sites and they sold them as um, houses and some even apartment complexes were built on that, uh, where the lake used to be there before. So, it, uh, sometimes it was naturally dyed up and sometimes it was like taken out through pumps and all those things. So, they, that was something which uh, we have seen. It is a very part and parcel of life. Uh, so, then uh, when this encroachment, the, uh, now they are like people are very serious now because of this, all these losses which has happened, now people are very serious about this concept. Now only many people are realizing that there are there is a concept like Raj Kalwe where uh, there is something called as a natural storm water drain which was marked before in uh, Bangalore and all those things. Now people are realizing that. Mm, but uh, b being from a uh, lawyer uh, family, we used to do that in our uh, legal checks where we used to check if there is any um, Raj Kalwe which is flowing or uh, which is going on. It was part of our... Uh, property search like if anybody came to us for any uh, legal document verification we used to check that also of the Raj Kalwe whether it's going to be on Raj Kalwe in the future do we uh, do we get a problem not many uh, like new people who have come here who are not stayed here will not know this because this is something which was done by old uh, uh, old school lawyers who knew Bangalore very well and later this concept got lost and now we have this issue okay uh, coming to the point of caveat, so why we do we apply caveat? So caveat is a procedure which is which is uh, prescribed in civil procedure code, where you can uh, even before even somebody files a notice for you, you are taking a step and you are like going to the court um, uh, before the other person acts, saying that hey, this is my right and this is what needs to be addressed. It is protecting your own interests. So now the government is doing that for uh, this uh, issue uh, and uh, ultimately what I would like to say is I will list down some of the things why we uh, like you can see he here on my sites where I have list down some information about caveats and you can read more in the positive and read more further. Uh, but you have to remember that caveats are only valid for 90 days. Okay, This is something which is not known to many people. Uh, they think that okay, if you file a caveat, you are like happy for the entire life. No, it is not like that. You have to, this is only valid for 90 days where the court also will, there is a procedure for it. The court calls them and they will, uh, they will uh, have a discussion about what are the 
rights and privileges which each party owns and enjoys but only thing is when we file the caveat when the other person uh, has a, other person files a legal notice you will get little bit of a upper hand so usually we recommend this for uh, those people who are um, uh, coming from session courts and district courts and uh, who think that the other party may go for appeals in uh, high court then we recommend them to file a caveat and to make sure that your interests are a uh, little bit protected but again this depends on a different scenario uh, what kind of civil suit you are filing for it depends on all those things whether you are even eligible for caveats is another question uh, which needs to be evaluated only uh, based on case by case basis there is no uh, blanket rule for this uniform rule for this this is really based on the case um by on conclusion i what i would like to say is that um, your legal position is ascertained very well if you think about filing a caveat especially if you are uh, if you are that if you uh, have like recently you have got a judgment from a lower court where uh, it it has been in favor for you like you have gone you have got the uh, verdict which is in favor for you then uh, having a caveat is very helpful in the high court and especially when it comes to appeals so that is very useful and in case of this government uh, situation that is also a very good point with the government where they have really thought through their uh, legal scenarios and legal process i'm pretty sure they have very good legal advisors for them advising to do this and uh, yeah caveat is a very useful tool and i think um, any person who likes to know about law should stay study in detail about caveats because that's an excellent way of uh, protecting your client's interests so i hope i added some value today and uh, make sure that you subscribe the channel and i don't promote my channel much because it's really for the benefit of the people for which i'm doing this so make sure that you share it if you find this information to be useful and stay subscribed because whenever i get find this interesting uh, concepts i will i'll keep making videos and also it will help me uh, give it will help it will help me motivate to make more videos so until next time i'll see you have a good day and stay safe stay legally safe and see you